Divine Feminine, welcome back. We're here to do your weekly Twin Flame update. For those of you that are new, a very warm welcome. We do have this content ahead of the crowd and we have weekly drops, so stay tuned and make sure to follow us for more. Lives are every Friday. If you want a quick super chat, come through and join us. Now let's have a look at your energy this week and what I see coming through for you psychically. <sighs> Okay, I feel you're ready to deal. I feel that you're gaining a bit more momentum and confidence and I do feel you're feeling more grounded walking through um, how you're going to directly approach your twin flame path in your life moving forward. Um, some of you could be looking at wanting to change um, your diet, your nutrition, um, wanting to feel more confident inside yourself. Uh, there also could have been some shadow elements that you guys really move through. And we'll just go to the middle row, especially with the goddess in reverse. You know, this could have been an issue with um, feminine energy. It could have been a karmic energy. Um, but also inside yourself, you know, a lot of shadow work, a lot of feeling quite tired, maybe, you know, not being able to care for yourself as well as, um, you know, you would have liked to. I do feel to a degree there was a lot of protection that was coming up in your heart space. And it could be still kind of lingering on to a degree really relating to divine masculine. I'm noticing the shield yourself in the heart space and it is in reverse at the moment. And it's almost like maybe you, you're a little bit more ready to maybe deal in a more grounded fashion for a pocket group of you. For others, especially because the emotional sensitivity card is here, I feel you're in awareness of what these are, especially because it's right near divine feminine's head. It's almost like there is this awareness of, um, you know, oh, how could you, a little bit of PTSD, um, a little bit of self-protectiveness that can be coming through and really feeling quite emotional in the mix of all these changes. I feel your guides are with you and I do feel it may be that you need to take a little bit of time to really connect in. Some of you, um, you know, well beyond your years, you, you may not actually be aware that you can manifest really beautiful things into your life. I feel there's a tactical approach here, and I do feel if you have had, a, a, you know, a time frame, and I especially believe this to be so, you know, for a lot of divine feminine since August, there was a lot of shadow work that we were going through. As we move into February, all planets are direct and I'm noticing the manifestation power. So there could be a need to balance the lower chakras. It could, uh, some of you could be experiencing headaches. I especially feel that there's a lot of, of um, creativity, courage, um, you know, movement moving forward. But there's also something in the mix of your twin flame path you're able to manifest in. Hmm. I feel there's um there could be a change in style of communication. I do feel that your guides are actually protecting the both of you. And they're trying to work with you, but you know, in the 3D, we can especially feel at times that we're being sabotaged, that um something is being taken from us. And I especially feel if you had been tuning into your counterparts energy and feeling that individual was quite stuck, it might have really caused a lot of stagnancy within the journey. It's really key to tune out of that because I do feel if you ask your guides to assist this individual with whatever hurdle they're currently dealing with, you'll actually find it moves a lot quicker. A lot of times from a humanistic point of view, when we're trying to resolve those things, it's almost like we're acting in assimilation and trying to resolve the circumstances that are blockages in their path. Therefore, it will mean it's more fluid with us. Um, they're asking for you to tune out of that because their guides are actually um, in occupation in aiding them at this point in time, but to ask for their assistance. I'm also hearing the term, it's not over, um, but I don't feel that's in relation to a bad thing. I feel it's more the spiritual connection. Yeah, you're very safe. I feel you're going to take a tactical approach. I feel you're going to have a, um, it's almost like a light bulb moment. I feel it's going to be a light bulb moment. And you guys really do have the gift of the gab. And sometimes it's saying nothing at all, especially mirroring that person um, and allowing them to communicate with you, allowing them to, you know, listening. That's what I'm hearing, listening. 
Okay, what is the throat chakra in reverse, please? Because that's what I'm hearing listening. There is a transformation. Um, some of you are feeling guided to actually test the situation by not chasing and allowing that person to just move in towards you. Some of you directly are seeing it in the 3D. <coughs> I'd definitely say, especially if you are stumbling and you're feeling very protective, to, to go and have a look at the karmic third-party energy because sometimes we can exhibit karmic energy, especially if we've been tuning into them. It's almost like we can embody their frequency and that's where the question mark always comes up with Divine Feminine. Am I karmic? No. We're in you're channeling. So you channel that, you will channel the karmic. You've you've got to be careful who you tune into. And that's the reference they're making here. This is a real funky bottom row. Look at this. Feminine, seriously? Okay. Now this could be two things. We have the law of attraction in reverse, ascended masters in reverse, and clairvoyant in reverse. Divine feminines. Some of you may be very 3D this week, okay? That's one way it can play out. It's like, okay, got to get a lot of things done so the psychic attacks and things to that degree can dissipate because you're very 3D. The other way I'm seeing this play out is because the top row is really saying, I'm protecting my heart. I, I'm, you know, I'm I'm trying to get there. I'm feeling quite sensitive at this point. The bottom row matching at a foundation level may be that you feel disillusioned. Maybe I'm not a twin. Maybe this isn't real. Maybe my guides aren't here. Maybe my psychic intuition. I can't sense their energy. Now, generally, when you can't sense their energy, it is because they're doing work in the 3D. But for some of you, it can be that you're very clear in your direction. And you're moving forward and trying to be quite self-focused. Um, some of you, I do feel you're hit with a bit of a conundrum. Um, and you're trying to work something out that seems quite complex. And it's so funny. They're actually saying, ask your guides to help you because it's almost like the ocean being split. Um, there's, there's going to be a solution that comes to you quite quickly and you may be more surprised. Oh, interesting. Okay, some of you are getting downloads. These downloads can be in relation to the karmic third-party path. This can be in relation to divine masculine actually waking up and knowing what is best for them. Some of you may have felt that um, an individual used uh, magician energy to manipulate this situation with counterparts. That only goes so long, okay? But like um, like attracts like, I do feel this person is actually coming back to you and that what is always yours is always yours. That was what this bottom row really was signifying to me. So some of you can be completely detached, um, you know, not needing to manifest because it's just naturally coming towards you, it is. Okay. Some of you are asking the question, if counterpart hasn't shown up, how do I remain faithful to my twin flame path? Um, there could be a question mark with another individual for some, not all. I do feel this can be a moment in time that you're moving through. I do feel some of you, it's almost the intention you're moving into 2023 with this to have a better year. There can be some message that comes through. I'm hearing message in a bottle. And I feel this message in the bottle could be some gossip. And it's really funny. I'm all, I really am pretty much till psychically till March. I really do feel a lot of gossip's coming out. <clears throat> so don't be surprised if it's still acting like a Mercury retrograde. Things are unhidden. Things are uncovered and things are coming to the forefront. I really feel that to be quite large. I especially feel those in a relationship could be dealing with um, blasts from the past, but also severing of ties. Some of you, if you heard gossip during Mercury retrograde, it's actually saying you're going to hear some more and it's not quite what it was. 
So what do I mean by that? Um, yeah, it might look like a bed of roses. Um, something shifted. Yeah, Divine Masculine's really working. They're really levelling up at this point. You may not be able to tune into them psychically for a bit. Some of you are just uh, physically choosing to do such. You're like, I just, you know, unless this levels up, it's not my business. They need to do them. I'm just, um, it's not that you don't love them. It's just you're quite focused on, you know, where you're going. I do feel you're going to have a very busy week, Divine Feminines, and, and this can be very action-packed. Um, I do feel you're going to be pulled in many directions. I feel there's a gift coming to you. Yeah, it's almost like you're tidying shops. Some of you are choosing to transition jobs. Some of you are trying to quality assure the area of your industry. It's like, okay, I need to get things in a row. I need to clean life up. Um, I'm hearing benchmark, and I feel the benchmark has gone higher. I feel the benchmark is because of Christmas and New Year's, so you're like, right, what I'm looking for, it, it's almost becoming very clear what you do want inside your twin flame path and point blank zero with love. And I feel it's very, um, it could be getting pretty spicy, especially with the Venus transit. So I feel it could be very direct because the clarifiers coming through for you, Divine Feminine, are really saying you've raised the bet. The, the bar, you know, it's like I want something in the 3D. I, I don't just want to tune in, especially this bottom row. It's all to do with that spiritual energy. Um, it's more wanting that in the 3D, manifesting it into the 3D, not just living in the 5D. I do feel you're looking at counterpart in a fashion this week, 50-50. One pocket of you are very self-focused and saying they'll be here. you just ever so sure about that. The others of you are looking at it like, look, unless you can actually come to me equally, I'm actually open to, you know, my path moving forward. Um, I do see this individual very close. I do see them moving, but I definitely see Divine Feminine requesting a level up. We will touch base with you next week. If you do want a private booking, you can go to the link directly below. We're live every Fridays. So come through and join our super chats. You can prepay them if you're not available at that time. And I will mention your name and answer your question. Don't forget to check out all the updates weekly. You can get these in our member zone a week ahead of the crowd and star signs twice a month. Take care, beautifuls. I'll see you for your next week's edition. Thank you.